guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by my name is gifta sini and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the love and support you've shown so far on this channel and on on my last video it means a lot to me so what are we doing today we are touring one of Kuala Lumpur's oldest historical building today which is central market so in my five years in malaysia i have never heard of central market yes it's that weird i can definitely say i haven't told malaysia at all not talk of Kuala Lumpur where i live in so while i was strolling through tiktok searching for places to visit in kale so i came across central market and i was like okay that would be perfect you know so that's where we're going today so i'm not good at explaining things i'm not a tour i'm not a tour guide okay but i really want you guys to come with me to see whatever it is that i see and whatever it is i hear you guys are going to hear about the place and see for yourself because i really don't know what to give you you know you know what i mean anyway so that is what we're going to be doing today and i sh it's past 12 i should be heading up now so but before we do that let me show you what i'm wearing because today i wanted to look like a tourist okay so it took me a while to figure out what to wear actually so this is what i came up with and i'm going to show you guys in a bit
Hi guys, so I'm back home and my day went pretty great and stressful. <laughs> so I was not able to tour all the shops at Central Market because I kept getting lost, okay? I don't know where what is and what not. There were a lot of people there with tour guides and all of that, but you know, I went alone so I couldn't do much. But I was able to go to some shops and get some stuff and the whole experience was nice because I get to meet some white people who are really like interested in the stuff that I was interested in. I was taking pictures for them and all of that. So it was nice. I think mm, I would personally, I, I feel like it's great to really like, um, get to know more about Malaysian culture and stuff like that I really had no knowledge about in my five years in Malaysia and I think the market is great if you like hats you would like Central Market so I left there because the sneakers I wore today it was hurting my leg I couldn't work and I was getting lost it was so hot so I just had to like you know what Maybe some other day I might go back again and tour it again, but for now, no. But I did try my best and it was a great experience. So I came back home after I left Central Market and I went to Times Square. So from Times Square back home. So I, I didn't really do much at uh, Times Square. I just had dinner and also just did a few shopping and i think i found my new favorite place to shop clothes and jewelry from in times square it's amazing so basically the reason why i actually wanted to leave the house today was because for a few days i've been you know having just been my feelings i've been you know this mental breakdown when there's really severe anxiety and stuff like that and today i was just like you know <laughs> Fuck it. Like I've missed out on a lot of things in Malaysia because I it just feels weird to go out or go on vacations by yourself when there is no one else with you. But I think going out by myself today to tour Central Market, I might actually, you know, be doing that. Like it's fine if I don't really have someone to go with me, yeah. So I'll just go wherever I want to go and tour wherever I want to tour now. Because I just realized that I've missed out on a lot of things in Malaysia because of that. Like, it just feels weird going alone and, and you know, being shy. Of, like, it's, 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 it's stopping now, okay? I need to start going places, even if it's by myself, even vacations, which I'm planning uh, a solo trip soon, but I don't know yet, but hopefully so today was amazing that's all i can say and it was super stressful because the sneakers the sneakers was hurting my leg it's like my leg is swollen okay it was now nah, it was so tight that i couldn't work i couldn't work like people kept staring at me like are you okay because <laughs> it was that bad okay so but i had a great time today i was able to go to places and also meet people you know all by myself okay and it's it's nice it's nice okay because i know that if i were to go to those places with people like today i wouldn't have gotten that much time to like take my time to check out things or to like tour places or to see like i really took my time even though my leg was hurting i really took my time and it was amazing Anyway, I got some things from Central Market because it's a tourist place. So I had to get something. So I got some stuffs and I got some stuffs at Times Square. But I'm going to give you guys like a haul of the things that I got in both places. So I got <laughs> this bag. I actually got something like this too when I went to Langkawi last year. And I really, I like the color. I like the fact that it's opened and not, okay, yeah, it has a zip, actually. I didn't say that before. It has a zip. So like I said, I'm planning on a solo vacation trip. So I might take this and that's really the reason why I got this actually. And 
yeah i think it's cute but it was overpriced to be honest but you know everybody gets to like make money from whatever the fuck they're doing so it's fine but i got it and i like it the first shop i saw i entered when i and uh, when i got to central market i spent 130 ringgit on the spot just buying stuffs that are not really that cool but i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to show you what i mean so i got let's start from this okay so i got this pencil this tray it's actually a tray i didn't notice so i got this tray it has pencil ruler sharpener erasers and pen whatnot so i saw it and i was like oh this will be perfect to get for my kids and my sister because my daughter actually disturbs me a lot about malaysia like okay do you eat the food what kind of food do they have there show me their view and stuff like that i want to come to malaysia and whatnot so i think it would be great to give them this and by the way today is my son's birthday so please say a prayer for him if you can it will be appreciated anyway so i got this for my kids actually and my sister and i got i got them for 25 ringgit each which was a little bit too, too pricey but i gotta pay for the malaysia that was written on it so i paid and i think they'll like it so i got <laughs> i got this toothpick order which come in a really fancy box if you ask me so it's like this this is malaysia's twin tower obviously and it's a toothpick actually it's a toothpick of them i don't remember how much i got this the one i said like yeah right i'm getting it so i got it anyway so i got i saw this flower and brother and buttery whatever they call it i saw this purse and i was like okay i don't like it but i'll get it for my mom so i got it from my mom it was really affordable though but i don't remember the price i got it but this was really cheap but it's not cheap most things most of the things at central market were extremely overpriced like i get it they're all working hard it's they are handcraft and whatnot but this was really pricey compared to when i was in Langkawi okay so but i got this this was really affordable though so i got this for my mom actually so if she would like it and then one of my stupid purchase for today is this city glass malaysia it's actually like a wine glass but a miniature one ow don't fall Yes. <laughs> I am obsessed with this. Okay, I know it's one of my useless purchases, but I am obsessed with this. It's so cute and I really really love cute things. I love small things and I think it's really cute. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so I love it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I can use it for uh as a candle stand maybe or just used as a shot you know but i like it even though it's like a really and it's really pricey as well i think i think i got each both for 30 ringgit which is pricey for like a miniature glass but i like it it has the building of malaysia on it and it's cheers guys ha i love it anyway so my next purchase is also similar to that one oh okay okay don't do that so i got 
<laughs> Yay! <laughs> I got this miniature mugs as well. Uh, again, it's for the same reason because you're just so cute. I love small things, and it's so cute. So I couldn't resist them when I saw them. I was like, you know what? Even if I don't get anything, I'm getting this miniature stuffs. It has obviously Malaysia stuffs on it, and it's really cute. If, yes, I can use this as a candle stand because that's the only thing I can come up with, and also. A shot which is really cute it's super cute and cheers guys it's also one of my users for chase but I'm obsessed with it I couldn't live without getting them anyway so talking about miniature I got a bigger one because I'm also a mug lover I love mugs so I got this one as well that says Malaysia obviously because it's a tourist place so basically everything that says Malaysia I love Malaysia Kuala Lumpur and stuff like that so yeah I got this and as a message on it my friends went to Malaysia and they got me this love mug anyway it's for myself so I went to Malaysia and I got me this love mug <laughs> anyway so i love it i love it so i got it and one of my users purchase of today is also these slippers i find it cute but it's just like it won't last long and it's well it's affordable it's cheap i think i got it for 18 ringgit or so but i don't think i can wear it though i don't think it will last long Yes, I bought it because, you know, I might want to wear it to my upcoming solo vacation or whatnot. So I got it, but I think it's not going to last long. Maybe I'll just wear it one time and try it out. But yeah, I, I got this necklace from one of the crystal shops. The crystal shop. Oh, the crystal shop I was like okay I don't have any crystal at home let me get something let me get a crystal and lo and be I saw one cute dog crystal dog shaped crystal it was so cute it was pink but then asked me how much they told me 4,800 ringgit that is almost 600,000 air. I was like, okay, okay. I was just buy the one I can afford, which is this necklace. So I got a crystal necklace because I cannot afford to get a real necklace, a real crystal. Cause what the fuck? It was so expensive. I went inside to see if I can see a cheaper one, but they were all like 5,000, 10,000 for crystals oh i didn't know they were that expensive anyway i got the one i can afford from the same shop which was a crystal necklace i don't know what this is but i think it's like a temple ish but i got it and i think i like it though and i'm getting to wear it a lot so i got that those are the things i got from i've been blanking out so those are the things i got from central market so the stuff that i got from times square because i went to times square i really didn't know what to do there because i would have honestly i would have preferred to go to pavilion or even mid valley mall compared to times square but i ended up finding a new favorite spot to shop clothes and jewelry from so i got a lot of jewelry today I got jewelry a lot of them necklaces bracelets earrings everything I got them today for really really affordable prices so let's start with this one I got 
Okay, now this is all tangled up, but we'll start it out. Okay, so I got this three layer, this three layer necklace, which by the way, I do have two of these necklaces, but they couldn't remove this because it comes together. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy it because I am obsessed with layered necklaces. And this pendant is just giving me life. I, I am obsessed. So I don't think even the one I had of this is not as thick as this, but I'm obsessed, okay? I am loving the necklaces. So the next one is this, it's a two-layered, it has like the, skin, the snake, whatever necklace as well. This is a little bit lighter, but I do love the pendants. I got it solely for the pendants and I think it's cute and all of that. So yeah, and I got this really tiny necklace. It's really simple. I like the fact that it's simple and it's i think yeah it's simple and it's not as like long as others so i got this because i have always wanted like a short sorry a short necklace so i got this and moving on oops okay i've always wanted a silver jewelry so I got a silver one as well, which is also like a two layered necklaces. So I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And I got this really nice Korean type earrings. I've always wanted to own one of those. So I got this one as well, which is really, really cute. So I got this cute earring i'm obsessed with it i think i got it sold because it's white and gold i don't have any earrings of such i like white and gold like this necklace i'm wearing right now i think it's match with it so i got this because it's really cute and i got this pearl i got this pearl necklace as well it's similar to the one i'm currently wearing but this is like half pearl half chain so i decided to get it you know just to switch things up a little bit and i got oops no no don't do that so i got this really nice bracelet it's so cute i really don't have any chain bracelet so i decided to get one i actually got two so i got two of those they are really really pretty guys they are so pretty anyway so i got that and i got this as well to just that you know to layer it together and all of that it's really cute so i got this one as well and i got this crystal earring which is cute as well i got this really cute i know i've been saying cute but it's, they're really cute i couldn't like it took me a lot of self country to actually stop with this because i really wanted to get more but like this is really cute guys i'm obsessed with it and i got some studs as well i think my favorite is like the butterflies obviously i got them because they're butterflies and they're cute so i got those and i also got this one because it's just so cute and elegant no not cute but it feels like it looks elegant so that's why I got this one, I think. So I think that's all I got from the jewelry store. I found a new favorite spot to shop clothes from. So I got a few pieces today. 
I've always wanted to have like a black blazer jacket so I got one today one thing about this is this though one thing about this though is that I was not allowed to try them on so I just tell them the size I want and they gave it to me so I've been trying it out maybe after I show you guys or I don't know but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like me but I've always wanted to have like a blazer jacket and the qualities are great I think I got this for about 70 ringgit 70 ringgit yeah I think and it's amazing so I got this knitted crop top it's so cute <laughs> oh 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 i'm sorry but it's so cute i don't have much knitted stuff but when i saw this i knew i wanted it so i got it it's just so cute i don't know about, i don't know about you guys but i think it's cute and I can't wait to see how it looks on me because sometimes you see outfit that you like and you wear it and you look like buffaloes. So I hope I don't look like a buffalo in this because it's really cute and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. So I got this white shirt because I've always wanted to have a white shirt. I have this pink skirt that I've always wanted to wear with a white shirt. So I saw it I got it so I actually wanted it to be bigger than this but it don't have any bigger size so I hope this goes well and fits me because the material is amazing it's so soft it's so soft and I am obsessed with it and I got yeah I got this loungewear it's actually a two-piece I've always wanted to have like a two-piece loungewear even though it's really soft I, I don't think you know I can wash it for long or even iron it so but I've always wanted to have like a two-piece set for you know just to lounge around in my apartment and it it comes in it comes with this as well which now looking at it it's kind of ugly but whatever it will work and now to the star of the night is this dress. Mm, mm. When I saw this dress, I knew I had to take it. Now, the now the prayer is I don't look like a buffalo in it. Because like I said, sometimes you see outfits, they are cute and all of that. And then you wear it and you'll be like, um, I hope this fits me because damn like mm, the sleeves mm, it's it's cute it's mm, it's giving me elegance okay it's, that's what it's giving i can't wait to go out in this i can't wait to go on a date with it seriously because it's mm, it's given it's given it's given elegance it's given red carpet you know you know but i hope it looks like that it looks fl <laughs> flattering on me because that would be huge disappointment and i hope it fits because i asked for my size and yeah it's looking like my size but i hope it fits because then it's going to be a huge disappointment so guys that is all i've got for you today i hope you guys enjoyed the tour you guys enjoyed the haul and you know all those little things i really do enjoy it myself today and i really hope you guys i'm able to like pass that vibe to you guys so you guys can at least smile or you know just feel excited in a way because sometimes we all need that so i hope you guys enjoy and please like comment share subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video